Good evening and welcome to post-game coverage of Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Championship Series. The Hamilton Bulldogs take Game 1 by a score of 5-2. to two. Joined now by North Bay Battalion head coach Ryan Ulihan and veteran forward Brandon Coe. Coach, we'll begin with you. Uh, the Bulldogs score right out of the gate tonight. Your team managed to compose themselves and make a game out of things, but uh, perhaps just your thoughts on Game 1. Well, of course not the outcome that uh, you know that we're all looking for in Game 1. Believe it or not, uh, I didn't mind our start. I thought we came out prepared. I uh, liked our jump early, even though we gave up that early one. Um, but then from then on, you know, I thought uh, it was kind of a night where we got our feet wet. Um, they're a really good hockey team. And as much as you talk about it, as much as you prepare for it, I think it was really good for our guys to kind of feel what that pressure is going to be like, feel what they're, uh, you know, sort of the things that they do. Um, and in that sense, you know, it, it's not a performance that, you know, we're, we're going to take some positives from this one for sure. Brandon, a goal for yourself tonight. Uh, you've worn the battalion logo on your chest for, you know, four seasons now. You know this team as well as just about anybody. What are, what are some ways that you guys need to be better in game two? I think we just need to keep our game simple. Um, get in on the four check on their the big slow D. I think once we take advantage of that, I think we'll have a lot more shifts down the offensive zone. I think we spent uh, a little bit too much time in our D zone and didn't really cause too much on the back end for them. So I think once we get once we get pucks deep on them and grind them down a little bit more, I think uh, the game will open up a little bit more for ourselves and uh, generate more offense. So, um, yeah, I don't think we did that enough tonight, and uh, that's what we'll be bringing back in the game too. So. Take some questions now, guys. Just for Brandon, uh, I noticed, you know, just a huge contingent of North Bay fans sitting behind your guys' bench tonight. What does that mean just to have that fan support, especially four hours down the road from home for you guys? No, oh, it's huge. Um, I think my mom uh, is in the Facebook uh, fan club for North Bay, and I think they, uh, they mentioned that they were doing a, a little fan bus down here. So um, I think it's awesome uh, that, they, that they're supporting us even down here in Hamilton, making the trip. So definitely means a lot to us, and uh, it gives us a boost on the ice for sure. Late first period, you guys get the opportunity to tie it up 1-1. Does that late goal in the first period, like what's the mood in the room? Is it a little bit dejected that you guys couldn't take that 1-1 tie into the first intermission, or what kind of happened there? Yeah, a little bit. I think we got a, we got a boost uh, on the goal for our power play and um, letting, letting one slip by on the PK with uh, just about a minute left there was, was definitely tough going back in the dressing room. But I think we, uh, we watched it over in video, and we know what to expect to, to come from their power play now, and um, we'll clean that up. Coach, you've seen them now. This is the fifth time this year. Um, did you see anything today that you hadn't seen in the four games previous? No, not really. You know, we, we know them pretty well. We've been watching them for the last few months for sure. Um, and uh, it, it was pretty much, you know, what we expected. They're a big, strong, older group. Um, and they're patient. They're very well structured, well coached, even though they have all that high octane players. Uh, sometimes when you have that, that high end skill and high end ability, um, you know, it's tough to get that structure, but they certainly have it. So uh, I think it was pretty much what we expected. And, and um, again, really good for us to see that here today. This may be a ridiculous question considering their record, but the best team you guys have faced this year? Oh, there's no question. Yeah. Um, I mean, they've been the best team uh, for a while here, for sure. And um, yeah, just complete, you know. Uh, some of the teams uh, have really high end forwards, but maybe not as deep on the back end and vice versa. So uh, these guys were are built, you know, really, really well, as I think we are. And, and, and I think we do match up with them when we bring our A game. Thank you, guys. Joined by Coach Jay McKee, along with forward Avery Hayes. Coach, we'll start with you. A new challenge tonight in the North Bay Battalion, a team that's that's played you tough a few times this season. You have to be happy with uh, how your guys rose to the occasion here in Game One. Yeah, I think uh, you know we're up against a very good hockey club. Uh, if we're going to have success against uh, North Bay, we're going to have to be on our toes every shift. Uh, very high-powered offense, uh, deep team, solid goaltending tandem. So, I thought uh, early on in the game, I thought both teams were kind of feeling the game out. Um, maybe a little bit sloppy at times uh, from the time off, but. As the game went on, it got more intense and a little cleaner, and uh, both teams played very well. We're fortunate to get the win. Avery, four points for yourself in tonight's game, and your your line clearly clicking, and and uh, you know 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 where each other are on the ice. Maybe talk about uh, your group's performance as a unit. Yeah, I mean it's puck was bouncing our way tonight, and it's easy playing with Morrison and Humphrey, and then we're out there with Jacka and Cameron. So they're both they're all high hockey IQ players, so it's easy playing with them. 
Great. We'll just open it up for questions now, guys. Avery, you say the puck was bouncing your way tonight. It seems to bounce your way a lot of nights. <laughs> yeah, I guess this year so far, yeah. Hopefully it can be like that the rest of the year. Uh, Jay, you, in the conference call the other day beforehand, there was a lot of talk about confidence that your team yeah. has. That said, is there a little bit of doubt in your mind until you get into the series and you want to see how it plays out just to reassure yourself that you are the team that you think you are to get that first game and know that you can still do the things that you think you can do? Uh, I, I don't think doubt would be the word. I think both teams uh, are confident, have played very well over the past couple months. Uh, every game we've played against North Bay has been uh, tight and, and hard fought, so we expected more of the same. Uh, I think every team is optimistic as opposed to doubtful going into uh, game one, but every series poses different challenges for each team, uh, whether it's physicality, offense, defense, goaltending. So. Um, it, it's nice to get the first win and, and uh, just give an added boost of confidence to the team and uh, you know get, get the lead here at, here at home. Last thing, did you, um, their coach was just saying they've been watching you guys for a couple of months now to probably prepare for this. Did you see anything different from them that you hadn't seen in the first four games? Uh, well, we when we pre-scouted, we wouldn't necessarily go through our four games against them. Two of them were much earlier, earlier in the season and the other the last two were uh, a little while back, so we, we pre-scouted and went over a lot of video of their playoff rounds. So uh, I think every team at, at this level is well prepared and the coaching staffs uh, do their due diligence. And um, so no, I, I don't think there's anything we did out there that would have surprised them tonight and, and vice versa. I think we were well prepared for you know, some of their ozone face off sets and different things they did throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Uh, but that, that's part of the, uh, the position both teams are in, you have to be well prepared to, to get to this point. Avery, a great crowd out there tonight for game one of the Eastern Conference. What was it like coming out there in the first period and seeing that fan base out there? Yeah, I mean, so fun knowing they they have our backs no matter what. And when we uh, when I took that penalty, they're booing the ref, so it made me feel good. And hopefully, hopefully they can bring the same crowd on Sunday. Finally heading into Sunday, now you know what that North Bay team is like coming in, the top two seeds in the Eastern Division. Does anything change heading into Sunday or you're just going to keep playing your game? Well, I, I think we we need to break down the video. I think there's uh, areas that we could have certainly been better in the game tonight, and I'm sure North Bay feels the same. So, uh, you know, that's part of the chess match that uh, this sport is, is going over the video and, and uh, sitting down with the players and, and making small adjustments and, and areas to be better. So um, I, I think both teams are well-versed on what each other do and, and how we're built. and. Uh, yeah, you know, game two is going to be a whole new game. Avery, you mentioned your offensive success tonight out there, but you guys are also having some defensive success against the Jackson and Co line. What did you guys do to help shut them down a little bit as their top unit a little bit? I mean, we know we know how how good they are offensively and how they can score if we take one shift off. So I mean, our line was just we're hungry to get the puck back. We love playing offense, so we try our best to slow them down as much as we can. And then early on in the first period, you guys get the first goal, but then you guys are able to stay in it. And Marco made some huge saves. What does it mean to have you guys to know that he's back in the net? Yeah, the I mean, it's, it's huge knowing we have one of the best goalies in the league, if not the best goalie in the league, if we are to make a mistake. So it's, it's nice having him back there. Game two of the series right here in Hamilton, Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in tonight.